Our next bout of the evening scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Okay, guys, listen, you know the rules. There is no standing eight count. Yes, protect yourselves at all time and listen always to my command. Tough glove. Back to your corner. Ertugel by Rack. Boy, is he ready to fight. Looks like he got Judge. into a brawl in the parking lot on his Judge. way in. <laughs> Judge. Time. He fights like that. He'll stay in the pocket fight. and go with you. Here we go. Three rounds. Middleweight mayhem. Big overhands from Byrak. Yeah, Boa Pea is going to come forward with some wild combinations. Watch the technical inside fighting of Byrak. The way he goes left hook to the body. The way he sets things up. Says he's working with his new gym, bringing back some of his old things in training, like knees. They're exchanging heavy fire here early on. Some good defense on display. Yeah, very sharp technical kickboxers. Countering with kicks, blocking low kicks. Look at both pair cross blocking. Oh, big knee, a leaping knee there from the time bomb. Watch out there. Fight! Boa has got some weird combinations that land well. He's chopping away at the front leg as well. Yeah. Boa is very difficult to find. That's why Byrock staying tight and then looking to counter. Nice knee again for Boa Pea. Man, you gotta remember, this guy's 22 years old. Look at the confidence he fights with. Slipping that jab with a good uppercut. He's got Byrak in the corner. Ooh. Overhand right and then a knee. Watch out, watch out for the back of the head. Fight! I feel that's because of Byrak's rolling of the punch. Byrak still trying to find a way into that guard. Yeah, sometimes Byrak starts a little slower and gains. Oh, he ate that right hand. And then a stiff jab as well. Byrak's durable. We've seen him against Oscar Lyon get dropped and then come back and do some good work. Fight! So if he can weather Boa Pea down and then take over in the second and third round. Well, Joe, Byrak already has a target on his face. That left eye that's got a big black ring around it. Is that where you'd be aiming all your fire? Well, I just think you got to split the guard like Boa Pea is doing. Just jab, one, two, one. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's just superficial damage. The eye looks worse than it actually is. But I like this sharp style of Boa Pea just staying defensive and using his jab and his straight punches and oh. countering. Nice left hook from Boa Pea. Under 30 seconds Break. to go here in round one. Both gentlemen are countering Break. very high level. Break. That sends him down. It's not a knockdown. But boy, that'll take Fight. the wind out of you. Yeah, a little slow get up there. As I was mentioning before, Boapea went off. By Rack, first round is a little bit slower, but he'll gain steam as the fight goes on. A jab again Three. from Boapea. Right on target. Fight. Ertugu by Rack, number three ranked middleweight in the world. Nicknamed Ghazi, known for his body shots, and you'll see on the inside he sneaks them in very well. Just kind of hides it. He's back with his old team now, so he says he's more motivated than ever. Michael Boapea ranked number seven. He says the signature strike is the uppercut. We saw that a few times in round number one. And outside the ring, this is no joke, he does build coffins. He said he would give us a nice discount on one if we needed one. Well, if you ever kill me and come <laughs> close many times, maybe we can use his services. Well, you see Boapea being really sharp, trying to find that uppercut, the overhands. But you see both gentlemen countering really well, but look like Boa Pea just a little bit more active, a little bit more aggressive in this first. We'll see how the judges have it. Round two. Fight! We'll see the judges' scores momentarily. Seemed like that was Boa Pea's round. Yep, good pressure, sharpness. Right, Whoa, down up. again. Fight! That's considered a slip because he was throwing a kick.
Both men landing similar number of strikes. A lot of good subtle details and technique in this fight. From good countering, from good jab setups, mixing of the kicks and knees, good blocking. Angle and level changes. That was more of a slapping punch, but it could have done some real damage. Good output back and forth. Oh, oh, oh boy, Apea missed that punch by about three feet. Look at this fight. Both pressure fighters with good output. That makes for a fun fight. That's guaranteed for a fun fight. Good leg checks. Right hand, there's that uppercut he's been looking for. Yep, we call that the Mike Tyson. Right hand, right uppercut. That knee's right on time for Boa Pea. He's got Ertigal Byrak in the corner again. Ooh. Got him with the left hook. Blood coming down now from the nose of Boa Pea now. A much tougher test, Ooh. this fight for Boa Pea than his right. first. Yeah, his signature fight. strike, that uppercut's finding its home now. Seems like the left hook is going to be the money shot for Boa Pea. He's clipped Byrak a couple times with it. You can see the pressure fighting of Byrak now starting to pay off. He's able to move Boa Pea backwards now. Oh, nice flurry there from Boa Pea. Yeah, he's starting to pick it up again. And let him go. Fight! Overhand right again. Yeah, off of a nice body shot counter. Yeah, by a rack, I think he's got a cut over his right eye. Yeah, knees. As soon as those knees even come close to those eyes, they're splitting them open. Ray! The back. Fight! Watch out. Nice low kick from Boa Pea. That's two in a oh, row. I'll tell you what, though, Byrak clipped him good, too. Yeah, it's the counter fighting of these guys because it's such a high paced fight. They're just going back and forth off of counters. You wonder what oh, Boa Pea is oh. going to look like in the third round. He's exerting a lot of energy this good. round. Front kick, right hand to Great. left hand. He's literally going one Let for go. one. Fight. Definitely, maybe a better round for Byrak here. Good uppercut, right Ooh. hand, and there's a left hook to punctuate things from Michael Boapea. Great second round. Collision returns to glory June 17th. As always, the heavyweight title will be on the line as number one ranked Antonio Plazabot faces the winner of the four-man heavyweight tournament in April at Glory 85. The winner then awaits Rico Verhoeven, who's currently recovering from knee surgery. Collision number five, June 17th. And we'd like to give a get well shout out to Dennis Burbach. He had to leave us today, wasn't feeling well. I think he's been at every single one of our Glory events in Europe. Yeah, for sure. To, to see him, so. So, hi, Dennis. I know you're watching on Video Land right now. If you faked being sick, by the way, we're coming to get you, all right? We're coming to get you, you rascal. Now we love Dennis, for sure. A lot of energy in both quarters. Looked like the ice bag in Byrock's corner spilled. All that snow underground looked like well, Joe, who all you, in the other day. <laughs> who would you rather be going into this third round? Well, I don't know. I think Byrak had a, a better round. Man, I don't know. I think they're pretty even going into this one here, but maybe Boa Pea. You know? I'm a little concerned how much steam he's going to have left. Yeah, because Byrak in that second on, round started fight. picking it up nicely. Let's see. It could all come down to this third round. All five judges scoring that round for Boa Pea. So it's 2-0, so Byrak needs a knockdown. Ooh. Good high kick from Boa Pea. Yeah, starting to kick a little bit more in this third round. High guard chopping away. Nice jab to the body. Break! Break! Hey! 
You hear it, eh? I say, Bread, you stop oh. directly. Oh, Next time you get the point down. Wow. Good refereeing there. 2.22 to go. We're going to see the type of bo fighter Boapea is being up two rounds as he continue to go for the knockout, which I think that's the type of fighter he is. Or does he kind of play it safe? But I think Boapea likes knockouts. Well, a lot of times we've noticed that some teams pay more attention to the scores than others. Some don't even tell their fighter what the scores are. Oh, that was a nice front kick. And Boapea is backing him up with a jab, but Ertugol may be setting a trap. Boapea's jab was super sharp wow. tonight. Man, these guys are going through hell. Look at these bombs. Oh. Boapea, even when he switches stances to throw his power shots. Oh, oh big right hand from Boapea. Off of the angle. He's, by... He's finding a third gear. Yeah, it's using that jab to set things up. He really went for the knock. See, I told you, he wants knockouts, Boapea. That's why we love him. Body shot from Byrak. He's got to find something, though. He needs a knockdown. Counter right. Boy, Boy, I am impressed. This third round, Bo Apea is showing me something. Ooh. He is working over Ertugol Byrak. Yep, 22 years old, taking on number three in the world. Right. Just picking apart, guys. using that Let jab, go. using his kicks, his knees. Let go. Good counter fighting. 50 seconds left. Boapea, who trains at R A R J in the Hague. By rack right. right now, continues to glance up at the big Tron, right. looking at the time. Ooh, that left hook, you're right. That's and his money shot. uppercut again. That's his favorite punch. Got him again. Fantastic third round, Michael. Oh, boy. The time bomb wants a knockout. By rack, does he have a miracle shot in him? Fantastic Ooh, fight, especially great. for Michael Boapea. What a performance. Congratulations to this 22-year-old future star. Incredible output and effort by Michael Boapea and by Rack just couldn't keep up, and that speaks volumes. If Byrak can't keep up with you, there's not many people that can. Yeah, exactly, and you know Byrak's that pressure fighter, not going anywhere, sits in the pocket. He made Boapea work tonight. He made him scrap, get messy, but Boapea ultimately just was able to pick him apart and land the bigger shots and just be sharp all around. We make it official when we return, and we'll hear from Michael Time Bob Boapea when we return. Let's jump into our highlights, and man, this was a fun fight. Yeah, it was both pressure fighters sitting in the pocket, exchanging very well. 
Just seemed like Michael Boapea just had an edge in these inside combinations. The way he mixed his strikes, his hooks, his boxing, his kicks, and especially that upper, uppercut was just something really nasty to see from the 22-year-old. But Byrak never out of this, sitting in the pocket looking for counter shots. But this third round, Boapea found the next gear, came forward, just created some output that is just fantastic to see. He's a fun fighter to watch, wants finishes, and I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of him in the future. Great emotion on display from Michael Boapea. Here are the final strike count statistics. Byrak did some damage with his hands. In fact, incredibly, in fact, he landed more total strikes, 187 to 174 of Boapea. But it was the Ghanaian who really took over in round number three. Let's go into the ring now and Tim Hughes. After three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see them out and score them out the same 30 27, all for your winner by unanimous decision, Michael Boapea. I'm here with your winner, an emotional Michael Boapea. I got to get you to address your fans in the crowd here, my man. How we feeling? They all said, I have no experience. I can't win. What did I do? What did I do? I believed in myself when nobody believed in me. I only have one thing to say. Middleweight deficient. Be careful. All right, there's your time bomb. You want one more? All right, come on, you gotta give me a little bit. This is your time to shine. Hey, you want me to talk? I don't like talking, but let me, let me, let me put some paper on it also. All right, let's go. Man, in this going into that third round, it looked like your pace was dropping. How did you get that extra motivation going into that third round? Because that was incredible. You know, last year, I lost my best friend, my, my everything, I lost him. It was, a really, it was really tough for me. But when I was tired, I thought, I think about him, and I know he always screams in my, in my head, and he says, bro, you're a soldier, go on, don't stop. And when I was tired, his voice came in my head. That's why I keep on going. Man, I am not, I'm unstoppable. They can't stop me. I'm young, but I'm too hungry for these people. Tight bone, Michael, tight bone, bo Apea. Don't forget my name, Bosch. All right, there you have it now, your winner, Michael Time Bomb Boapea.